Hi, this is John from Columbus Public Library, and this is Chess at the Library. Today, we're going to learn about the special moves in chess. If you're watching this, then you should already know what the pieces are and how they move. If you aren't familiar with those yet, you can press pause and go back to watch our previous video. All right, ready to move on? Let's go. There are two special moves in chess. One of them happens in a majority of games and is very useful. The other happens more rarely, but it is still important to know. The first special move is called castling. It allows a player to move their king and their rook at the same time, letting them kind of swap places. And here's how it works. The king moves two squares toward the rook, and the rook hops over the king to the square on the king's opposite side. A player can castle in either direction. Castling this direction is called king side castling, or short castling, because the rook doesn't move as far. Castling this direction is called queen side castling, or long castling. No matter which way you go, the king always moves two squares. For long castling, it's the rook who has to move the longer distance. Castling is only able to happen under certain conditions. Both the king and the rook should not have moved yet even if they moved back to their original squares. Once either piece has moved, then it's lost its castling rights. There can't be any pieces between the king and the rook. The king cannot currently be in check. The king cannot castle through check, which means a piece cannot be attacking a square that the king would have to cross. And the king cannot castle into check. Sorry, king, but you can't use castling as a way to escape check. Or here. It may seem like it's okay to castle, but this piece is attacking the square between the king and the rook, thus blocking any castling from happening. Many players try to castle as soon as possible. Castling has a couple of big benefits. One, it protects the king. Remember that the whole objective of chess is to checkmate your opponent's king. And each king's starting position can be attacked from several sides, making it very vulnerable. The closer that king is to the corner, the better defended that he'll be. And two, it activates the rook. Rooks are usually the last pieces to come into play. They need all of the other pieces to move out of their way before they can go anywhere. But once you castle, then that rook has an easy way out. Because castling is almost always a good idea, that means that it's also a good idea for each player to try to stop their opponent from castling. Here, white has checked the black king, forcing the king to move and give up his castling rights. Here, black has a bishop innocuously placed on the side of the board, but because that bishop is now attacking this square, it means that white cannot castle. The other special move is called en passant. It's a French word for meaning in passing. It's less commonly used than castling, but it's still important. Let's say that white has a pawn advancing across the board, and now it's just two squares away from the black pawn, which hasn't moved yet, and it's black's turn to move. If black moved the pawn one square ahead, then the white pawn could easily take it. But pawns can choose to move two squares if they haven't moved yet, so, the black pawn can move here, seemingly bypassing the enemy. En passant says that the white pawn may still capture as if the black pawn had only moved one square. Sorry, little guy, but you can't sneak past here. En passant is only usable on the move immediately following the enemy pawn's move. If black moves the pawn two squares ahead, and then white moves some other piece instead of capturing, then white has forfeited the right to play en passant later. These are the only two special moves in chess. Everything else happens according to the rules of each piece and the rules of check and checkmate. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Check back with Chattahoochee Valley Libraries for more videos soon. 
We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win. CVLGA.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.